My ex-husband pays me $1,700 a month in child support and pays my car insurance and my phone bill. And that makes a lot of people mad. So let's talk about it while I give you an apartment tour. I hear a lot of men on this app say that if their baby mother put them on child support, then that's all they're going to do. That as long as the kid is taken care of, they don't really care how their baby mama lives. But here's the thing. Kids cost money, and not just monetarily. My daughter's father wants my daughter in a great neighborhood and in a good school, so rent in those places are obviously going to be more expensive. My daughter's father will always help me with rent if I need it. A car is a necessity where I live as well. I have to take my daughter back and forth to school, so my ex has no problem paying my car insurance. My daughter likes to call her dad whenever she wants, so he has no problem paying my phone bill. And if my daughter asks me for something and I can't get it for her, my ex sends me the money for it. He never says, ain't that what child support is for? Y'all want y'all baby mothers to struggle so bad and it's kind of weird. But what do y'all think? What are your views on child support? Maybe I'm ignorant. If you can't afford to take care of your side of the bills when it comes to our child, why don't you just give me full custody? Like, why am I paying you child support and then on top of that, taking care of you if we're no longer together? Take it from a parent. Having a child is a bill. It's an expensive bill. Child support is making sure that I take care of my half of the bills. I'm not taking care of you. That's how I feel. I'm not taking care of you. It sound like your ex a simp. This being my DM like, I know that good it is, and you're still not getting it. Because why the f would you think that was the most appropriate thing to start in my DM and say? I know that good it is. No. I'm not sharing. This brings up an interesting topic. Some of us are at the age where we grew up watching Dragon Ball Z. You remember when there was sensing power levels? I can walk out here in these streets. I can look at a mother and sense her power. I'm just throwing that out there. Just how like be be saying, oh, he got he got big energy. Some of these motherfuckers walking around here got splish splash energy. Their power level is 9,000. Their power level is on 9,000. And ladies, don't go asking your man what your power level is. You feel me? Mind your business. Some of y'all are lucky to be married. Uh. Jumping around doing all that screaming, you should have told that man to wear a rubber. If in case y'all didn't see what was going on, she just got the pregnancy test. She found out she's pregnant. Now she's screaming. No, 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 no. You should have been saying no when he's toes. Listen, man. Okay, 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 What is joke to you is dead to somebody else? Big facts. Okay? Them say that nastiness. You don't know if you listen to them say that. I don't raise you like that. You follow your brother. But booty hole brown and booty hole. Of course your booty hole brown. You shit. I'm not going to lie. The first time I heard that song, I'm like, yo, what the hell is this? And then one day I caught myself singing it. We going to hell. I'm just letting y'all know right now. We going to hell, bro. Our society is, is doomed. I don't think my father ever heard this song. And I wouldn't dare play this song for my father. Because my father probably knocked me out. My pops is... It's a, a, um, what you call it? A Hebrew Israelite. He'll probably knock me out, bro. So I wouldn't do it to myself. Yo, why my friend and call her man cheating in their apartment and she didn't fought the girl and now she mad at me. Y'all probably like, Carl, well, how she's mad at you? You ain't got shit to do with it. She mad at me because I asked her 
why did you fight her and not your man? She's talking about because she was in my house. She got in through your man. He has the key. I'm like, so did she disrespect you? Like, did you know her? No, first I asked, did you know her? She like, no. I'm like, so did she disrespect you? Like, did she say anything? She like, no, she was just looking. So why did you put your hands on this woman? Now, if that was me personally, I would have asked baby girl that she want to jump her. But that's just me. But she would have jumped him? About because the was in my house. Because of your man. She like, you know what? Let me just stop talking to you before I have to fight you too. Baby, you mad at everybody but him. Go fight him. Like, what did I do? I'm, that's because he be I'm hitting the bottom. The logic behind your actions. But since you clearly a dummy, go, I'm going to let you calm down. And when you figure out what you did wrong, then we can talk again. Everything she's saying is, is logical. It makes logical sense. If you was thinking straight, then logically you do and follow the instructions that she's giving. But in the, the heat of the moment, the amount of restraint and self-control you'd have to have to not retaliate is crazy. As a man... They tell us that if you find your girl cheating, if you catch your girl cheating, just walk away. We are trained to think that the dude that your girl is cheating with, he's just doing what a n is supposed to do. He was given an opportunity and he took it, which is what most n would do. That is the correct way of thinking. Because if you do something crazy, and you go to jail, if it's not him, it's going to be somebody else spanking them cheeks. And you're going to be locked up. She going to be out here getting them cheeks spanked. But realistically, being composed when you catch your girl cheating is easier said than done. It is easier said than done. Imagine you paying the bills for your house. You taking care of your shorty. You have opened up a side of yourself that, as a man, most of us don't open up. Most of us don't walk around here just being vulnerable. So imagine now you find a woman that you have become vulnerable with. That's enough to make somebody go crazy. I'm, 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 strict, I'm talking to the men. No offense, ladies. I know there's ladies that watch my videos too, but I'm talking to the men because us as men, we move on pride. And sometimes your pride can... And sometimes when your pride is hurt, it can make you do dumb stuff. So, fellas, you can love your woman, but remember to love yourself first. Being locked up in a box over some is not putting yourself first. <laughs> He sent me chop up on him. You know what he going for. My Caribbean people know what he going for. He sent me chop up on him. Going for that goddamn machete. In my country, we call it a cutlass. He going for that cutlass. He finna... Woo! Do not mess with Caribbean people, especially Caribbean men, when they're cooking. It's going to be consequences and repercussions. <laughs> Alright, so the caption says, he ran into his ex-girlfriend who cheated on him. I was just talking about this. Listen, fellas, this don't make you look good. This make you look... This make you look like a... Move on. Running down on your ex-girlfriend in the drive-thru and throwing water on her, that's female behavior. Regardless of if she let somebody else paint them walls. This is feminine behavior, my boy. What is a woman? What is a, that's a stupid question. That's a dumb question. What is a woman? It's not a trick question. What is a woman? You can't answer the question with the question. Yeah, define the woman without saying woman. It's a social 
college paying for an education. What is a woman? How about you talk to someone with media training? Huh? How about you talk to someone with media You don't need media training. It's not a trick. Well, yeah, what is a woman? You can't answer the question with an... It's the college kids of America going hundreds of thousands of dollars into debt who think it's a trick question when you ask them what a woman is. What is a woman? I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I think their answers are stupid because that whole I identify as this and I, I identify as that, I don't... I don't condone that, okay? I'm going to just throw it out there right now. I don't condone that. I'm I'm 5'6". I identify as six as a 6'7 male. You hear how stupid that sounds? So, I don't condone that. But, what is a woman? Like, what is the correct definition of a woman? Now, my what I was going to say is a female human being. Is that too broad? Is that what he's looking for? Because that's what I was going to say. A woman is a female human being. I don't know, bro. Because I I feel as though, based on how he moving, he might f*** around and tell me that answer is wrong, too. God damn. He took the whole plate of rice? The whole pot of rice. The whole pot of beans? She taking too long. <laughs> he don't like that. She taking too long. <clears throat> Yo, my man is greedy, son. My man is greedy, son. With a banana. He is. A piece of pineapple. I, he is. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Ho, ho, ho! Hey! Hey! If any of you come to my house and cut a watermelon like that, yo, the way he just cut that watermelon is criminal. That is demonic behavior, bro. That is demonic behavior. Who cuts a watermelon like that? Yeah, this this this, this the video for today. I'm sorry. Of all the nonsense I watched prior to leading up to this, and you know, I, I, I ain't gonna lie. It's probably because I love watermelon. Okay? But that is demonic behavior. I'm dead ass serious. That is demonic behavior, son. This is the video for today, dog. What the f***?